Hello and welcome to another episode of my Going Medieval Village known by its Battle Keep. I have received a lot of your suggestions and advice and I will be incorporating most of it during this episode. The rest will be used in the other village and the Staircase of Doom Let's Play. This time there won't be any major construction going on, but rather many small improvements which will add up to make my village and settlers more effective, efficient and all around productive. Shelves will be added in the food basement, making it look a hundred times more organized, library will get wall bookshelves, food and stimulants distribution will be fixed, clothing will be improved, settlers gear will be managed to get them moving as fast as possible on the out and indoor roads and many more improvements will be made to the entire village. Winter is coming and we must be ready. In this village it's autumn day 6 and preparations for winter are on the way. Also, for the battle keep and the traps, I've gotten a good amount of suggestions and you have also noticed something I failed to notice in the previous episode when I was trying to harvest or let's say collect the dead bodies of rabbits, hares from these traps. I accidentally clicked, right clicked many times trying to get the whole to stockpile option, but I kinda clicked too fast and didn't even notice there was the option and it was showing up. So that was totally my bad and you noticed it and thank you very much for doing so. As always, I love your suggestions and everything you notice about my let's play because I'm concentrating on something while something else might slip my mind. So of course, you are always welcome to put your suggestions in the comments down below. Now, what is necessary to be done in this village before winter strikes? Some of these roads are getting finished and I don't think I have any more ordered up, especially because I don't have the resources, the clay bricks to make them. So I will need to force some villagers to actually do these jobs and I should go with forever, turn off the usage of wood because I have plenty of sticks and have somebody who has a construction skill at least of some sorts like this person who is enjoying entertainment currently, so I actually shouldn't touch him. But let's say this one, getting resources for construction, yeah. Are you going for the kiln? No, you're going for the clay brick piles to finish up the roads. No, I want you to actually prioritize production here. There we go. And I'll have him do the other one as well. I think all of these rooms are prepared for winter. So with the addition of braziers and plenty of walls to insulate these folks, that should be totally fine when winter hits. One thing additionally for winter is having plenty of food and I think 269 stew plus some other miscellaneous food will be plenty for this amount of villagers to get through the winter. But I also need some winter clothing. I think that I am lacking that because mostly this is summer clothing and some of this clothing has very low durability and hit points. Some of these are actually wearing armor which is slowing them down and this is something I have to make sure to get off and have it dropped off here to the stockpile. Now, where are you currently? Oh, you're building the, I see, clay brick tiles for the flooring. Okay, so I need to go with you over here and then for you to drop your armor so you are not slowing down anymore. Same with you, you're playing, so I will take you off of that just for a moment. Come down here, you come over here as well. And I need to drop off those armors so that their speed will go back to 100%. So take this off and go back to whatever you were doing. You too, come over here, drop off the armor, and you're free to go. And I think there was just one other person over here, praying forward, I will we'll let him finish this one, and then take him quickly over here to switch that for no armor, so his speed will go back to normal, and now he has no movement penalty. This is especially good because the higher his base speed is, the higher he will go on top of these clay brick floor tiles which create the roads for my village. I do have a lot of wood and a lot of stick piles out here in the open in the rain and the bad weather during autumn and winter will destroy these and I don't want that to happen. So I need to find a way to get all of that back to the village. Hauling is prioritized as first job for these two, Alfred and Blake. But they also have, this one has mining and I think I can hear some mining being done. Yeah, he's doing mining over here, getting me more limestone. While Alfred is doing the hauling, but he probably has a lot of other jobs around the village, so he's not taking the hauling jobs which are out here, but rather the hauling jobs that are in here closest to the village. And this is something that I need to fix by trying, for example, to increase the priority of these stockpiles, although I think that only affects 
where the goods uh, or resources are going to go and I can use that to my advantage for the places where I do need to have these resources so that I can actually have them produce these things faster. So here we have wood not being used, sticks used. So that means that I want this stockpile to have a high priority so that it is always stockpiled with sticks and wood. I also want this place to have high priority because it is close to producers who are using that. Also this one here, high priority. And this one here because at the blacksmith forge they also use wood in the production of certain things. So I can disable wood and then just use sticks, meaning this should be high priority. So this way, the other stockpiles, the stockpiles not nearest to actual workstations which use sticks and wood, won't be filled first, but these which are next to actual workstations which, which do use wood will be filled up first. Now one thing that I've noticed that I have left from before how the village was set up is because I had a dining table here and chairs and they were drinking there and my ale is over here. But now I have a great hall down here and this is where they should be doing the drinking. So I need to stop having this stockpile stimulants and turn this off and actually turn them over to here. So food, stimulants, allow all of them. So they will transfer that to there and then they'll have an easy way to drink because it will be right there. You see she's drinking but she had to get her drink all the way from here and that is not what I want. I want them to be more efficient at this. As I mentioned, I need winter clothing. I do have some clothing that I started the game with and therefore I will change my villagers into that clothing right about now. I think this one had just like five durability so I will do this for him first. I mean I could use the match option and then switch them over from apparel to winter apparel but I don't have that many apparels for everyone and that could be an issue if I let them all do that at the same time. So that is why I'm doing this manually. Let's see who else. I'm going to speed... What? Why do these two have garbsons as well? Wait, what happened here? Armor? Oh, because yeah, I had this set to all armor and then as soon as I took down the armor from one of them, these took the armor. So no, I have to go with... Yeah, and I just did what I didn't want to do. Okay, so now they've dropped it exactly where they were at that moment instead of dropping it off where I needed them to drop it off. So I'll go back to equip and then find the person who has that armor as well. He's over here, calling to stockpile. I'm going to interrupt him and take him over here to actually drop off that garbson. And then in the match, once I finish that, I'll say no armor. And you see that is the issue when you do something manually, but also use these options. You have to make sure that you're on the same page as that page is at, if you know what I mean. So basically she now has good wool clothing and no garbson and she can go back to work. While Blake is still mining over here with linen summer clothing and good wool garbson and let him finish one more and then I'll draft him and do this manually. Okay. So he's gonna go back over here, get off from this garbson and linen summer clothing and use some good wool clothing. But I don't think I have enough for everybody, so I will order up a tailor to make... What can I use? Uh, do I have enough wool clothing? Winter clothing requires 80. I have 81, so that's basically the only one I can make. You need to take this off, this off, and take this up. And that's about all the winter clothing I had, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to allow this. Okay, go back over here to drop off that armor. Didn't I go with... Yeah, I forgot to unclick this. And now you can go back to your work. So as you can see, doing it manually, you have to be on the same page, as I said, with this menu. So apparel, all. Manage armor, none. All food, all stimulants, all headgear. See, this one says no headgear, even though there is an item on him. And that's a conflict, pretty much, because you force him to wear something, but have, him have his automatic options set up to none. See, I am setting up no shields for those who use ranged weapons while, and two-hand weapons, while the ones who have one-hand weapons, they have the old shield option on. But enough of that. I need to check on a few things. I have some more research unlocked, but I don't currently need to speed up any of this. Now, the extra food is being harvested and should go 
over here where there are the stimulus they have transferred the l over here and from there they will make food over here and then that food is transferred down here although i think i see some food over here stockpiled what are these carrots i have allowed it seems for some uh, raw ingredients to be set up here also so that they would be close by to this one but they will go bad rather quickly and we can check that decomposing in just seven days pile rots in five days so that is why i don't like for this place to have a lot of food that's why it's a good thing it's a low priority and over here down here it's also low but i'm going to increase this to medium so hopefully most of the food raw food will end up here which will take it far longer to decompose rather than being in the kitchen on that heat and where it would decompose much faster here i should finish this off now i have not used the shelves yet and i do plan on doing that i can use them on the edges i think and the shelves they storage they are storage for meals uh, raw food textiles and medicine and i just need to make sure to find a way to set them up so that the villagers can use them and this space with maximum efficiency so i don't think there really matters which side they are turned so i'm going to put them like this shelves over here on the edge and they should prevent rotting because the food will not be on the ground and i'll do the same on the other side then i suppose i can leave one tile wide passage here and then have another row of shelves here so that's two rows of shelves this will be another passage third row fourth row and no then i couldn't yeah because this is even number and therefore it would be a problem to get the shelves i'll just leave maybe two spaces here two rows empty and then have shelves on both sides but i think with this many shelves they do cost a lot 20 wood i mean it's not a lot and it's just one shelf but when you want an entire basement of shelves they do start costing a lot and shelves should go with high priority and this will be medium so the food should go up there now it says food medicine and textiles now i want to micromanage this a little bit so i'm going to disable raw food textiles and medicine and i just want the food to be set up here the ones that are villagers making right now and then maybe in the middle i'll place the herbs wait can you place herbs on these yeah you can so herbs medicine that should go in the middle and the food should be on the left and the right. So this should not take long at all at this speed. So no textiles, no medicine, and no raw food. And so the same thing, okay, I think I can copy these settings. So copy setting and paste over here. Yeah, that's much more time efficient. So that is the reason I will not be placing any more of these tiles here. I don't want to spend the precious few clay bricks that these villagers have made. I think there should be somebody who has finished oh okay he's still making it tailoring and your level is 21 so you should make a very good piece of winter clothing and i'm just having enough resources for one which means i should do some hunting and then get enough leather for that and hunting will get me more meals because i'll have more meat so that can be done as soon as all the harvesting is done and i can switch their priorities and also down here once they finish building all the shelves let's see copy the settings and then go over to all the shelves so now they are all set up for food so this will free up a lot of this place on the ground and should change up how my gameplay is going especially inside of these buildings where i will also add more shelves for example i need bookshelves and vault bookshelves here in my mini library and that's one of the next things that i want to do so over here that's actually here furniture wall bookshelves i do have a lot of walls here to fill them up with bookshelves we'll go with one wall for now okay and the person that was having the armor is you where are you at over here you're preparing food okay so let's prepare that food and then send you over here to get rid of that armor and this time i re will remember to use this option and stop you from wearing armor okay finally and let's not forget letting him go back to his job all right so this will ripen soon and i will be able to make more ale a rough wine i think i'm currently making some rough wine as well as ale and i have almost used up all of my red currants 
and they have still not picked up all the wood piles and stick piles. So this is something that seems to be necessary to do manually if they keep refusing to do so. So I do have one priority on two of these, but they are stuck with cooking and construction and over here it's mining, but mining I think is done. He seems to be mostly taking care of indoor things and he's doing those. Indeed, as soon as you have a job for hauling inside of this area, they will ignore something that's farther away. But a good thing is that they've started to pick up for more piles than just one from the latest update. If you manually force them to go for a wood pile, they'll go to a nearby wood pile until they are full. And you can see that happening right there. I also need to do some more hunting, as I said, to increase the amount of food. I did have just the harvest come in, so maybe I should hold on with, for that because the food will start rotting by the time it is ready to be made in the kitchen into meals, because I do only have one person doing this. I could set up another limestone heart here and that would speed it up, but who could I employ to do all that cooking? I have one at six, one at eight, one at eight, so that's not really efficient and they won't even have the skill for meals because it requires 15. So yeah, it is something that I will leave for later. So they have finished almost with all of these. These will ripen some of them soon, some of them later. Research is available. I don't really need any at the moment and I could free up a villager by yeah I seem to have two of them doing this so what I'm going to do is go with amount zero and amount zero they'll finish up those two and their schedule uh, their jobs said for research 48 intellectual and 16 so I'll turn this down to five for both of them as I'm not going to be force researching anything else soon and I have enough if I want to unlock something. So they should be freed up to do more of the other jobs. And for them, that should mean this one would be doing the hunting and this one doesn't do hunting, but can do construction and can probably do some hauling. So they will help out around the village. I do have these wolves here and I'm wondering, could I maybe trap them somehow with the traps? They do seem to be stuck in this area for a long time. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to set up a small road. That's actually over here. And I'll use, what do I have? I do have clay bricks. So let's say a road going like this. And then I'll set a lot of traps on this piece here. Don't really have for the wooden traps, so I'll just use the stick traps. I'll place them on top of each one of these. And we should see an interesting thing happen. I will extend this actually a little bit more to make it more efficient. There we go. And then some more traps all the way through here. Yeah, you can draw traps. You have to click on them individually. So that will take a while to build, but I think it should be interesting to see will the wolves get hit by those traps and will they just ignore them? Should be interesting to see. It's a good thing they don't run away from will or do they? Yeah, that one didn't, but those two did. That was interesting. In any event, it seems to be a spot where they gather. So I will set this up and see what happens. If they come over here, will they use this small piece of road here and then get hit by those traps and maybe even die so I can collect. Oh, a fine one. A fine leather winter clothing. Excellent, well done. And now I can switch somebody to wear that. Okay, actually you should go first down here, drop off this good linen, summer clothing, and then go back over here to pick up the fine leather. So my tailor is quite skilled at this. For some reason, I cannot click on this. Oh, there we go. Are those shelves done? The bookshelves? Yeah, they are. So they should be piled high with books soon. Down here, are they using the shelves for food? No, they have actually just stockpiled this one and none of the other ones. Interesting. Let's try it this way. Food, meals, and then the sable dropping off stews here. And then the priority. Why is the priority low? It seems I copied one with a low priority and didn't notice. So now they should all be high and 
especially now considering that I've disabled you from being down here, they should move it over there. There is lots of raw food here to be produced into meals. There is over here. I think I'm probably going low on herbs. Could try finding some herbs around here somewhere if there are any that have grown on their own. I will have Blake as soon as he wakes up from his nap to go over here and pick up this pile of herbs. About this place, it's questionable will it be useful now that the wolves have run away or maybe I could go close to them and see if they run away in this direction. Hmm. I think that would be kind of micro intensive to be spending so much time on that. So that would be just two hunters. Hunting wolves with just two hunters, that's dangerous because they will probably hurt my hunters. Well, whoa, that is a lot of rabbits and deer in this hole here. I think this is a great spot to go and hunt them. And there are some herbs there as well. So, okay, let's have all of them have hunting as their number one priority without any other priority being number one. Here, go to two, cutting plants to two, hunting to one, hunting to one, and lot of construction to two, and cooking to two. So that should do the trick. I'll let them finish up a little bit more. Let's we'll just see when they're supposed to sleep. I don't want to send them out before they're supposed to sleep. They do have three hours of time. So if I were to maybe force them. Yeah, let's try it this way. I will wait for 16. I will draft all of my hunters and have them come over here and then have them hunt the animals in their spot here. Okay, so it's 16. Draft, 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 and draft. Bring them over here and then I will put the hunt order on these animals with the M key, or is it M key? And then undraft them. And they should, if nothing else, stops them hunt those animals. Aldruf can continue construction of the little trap here for the wolves if they ever come over here again. So let's speed this up and see what exactly happens. Okay, so the animals are so far not running away. Let's go for the big game. Let's go for the deers. Actually, I think I'm gonna go with one at a time so they will all focus fire on one of them. So undraft. Let's see. No, come on. Prioritize hunting. What? Why are you two not... Oh man, this did not work out. Now she came back, but she didn't. It seems that they have to individually be clicked. Yeah. Okay, so that's one deer down. And they have found a way to escape from this chasm. Or however should I call it. So let's try like this. Prioritize, 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 prioritize. Maybe more of them will attack the deer at the same time. No. Yeah, that did not work out. You see the rabbits? They are now escaping and they're using my paths to escape all of the, to the other side of the map. So maybe I should have actually placed traps on these roads. That might have been more efficient to get uh, the animals caught on those traps rather than building this weird trap over here. Yeah, I think I'll try that next year and set up like all the traps here and then just have somebody chase the rabbits from one side of the map to the other and it should be interesting to see what happens so he's he is still hunting yeah and i do need a lot of leather and i think that requires at least two or three deer being butchered to get enough leather for another piece of inner clothing okay and excellent food is looking so nice now on the shelves and it actually didn't even take any more than these to pick up all the food and all the stew that was here. Actually, just a little bit of stew was left over. So that's great. I should now add some more. I will put them, like I said, on the next row. That will be over here. I think four will be enough. And then I'll put some more stew here and these packaged meals. And then I'll have room for these simple healing kits and any herbs that I have left, yeah, just around 30. Okay, oh, the deer are really close. I'll send my hunters over to them right now. They're probably busy with this, so they might take a while to get to the deer. But there we go, somebody started hunting already. Excellent. What else do I need to make sure to do before winter strikes? 
except the clothing, which I'm working on. How much leather do I have? Didn't somebody bring a deer body over here? Yeah, animal caucuses. Yeah, there are two, but nobody seems to be doing the butchering. Somebody with a good cooking skill should get on this and butcher these deer. Let's see, can you do that? Culinary three. I think that's still doable, or maybe it's not safe. Maybe he'll destroy the caucus. Culinary eight. Yeah, let's send him to do this. Priority the construction? No. Oh, right. Priority is production. There we go. So he should skin those three deers. Now, whether or not the winter clothing really does have a high effect, I have not yet managed to confirm. It does say so on the tooltip because it's minus 19 minimum comfortable and just minus 4 when it comes to linen, summer clothing. But I have yet to actually observe this having an actual effect. So it, it's kind of hard to test because the temperature will go up and down really high. It's kind of hard to test. I would have to like pick the exact day with the exact temperature outside and then have somebody with summer clothing stand here in minus 10 and somebody with winter clothing and then see if one gets chilly while the other one does not that would be kind of the optimum test and it's something i would do actually off screen because it would kind of take a lot of time to prepare in a, in a let's play like this do i have a spot for all of this meat no or do i meal no no raw meat meat raw meat yeah i did not actually have a spot there and neither I think I had a spot over here for our meat yeah I had neither so yeah I should have both now and this meat should turn be turned into meals now I could speed up the use of this meat so it doesn't go bad because I think meat can go bad really quickly yeah three days so I'm going to edit this I'm going to disable cabbage bar why was barley on Damn it, I could have lost a lot of barley due to this. Definitely it should not have been barley. So no, just red meat, no mushrooms, no picked vegetables, no smoked meat. So this way, the person making the lavish meals should have enough herbs and just meat to make a lot of lavish meals out of meat and the meat won't go bad. These are rarely done, which is really annoying. You're heading to stockpile with what, barley? Why are you taking barley? All the way. Oh no, don't go doing that. That is, yeah, I didn't set these up and that's why they are doing this. Okay. So, food, yes, but no uh, raw food, only meals. Here, same. Actually, I should just do one and copy. So, hi. Textiles, no. Medicine, yes. But let's say not on this one. Let's say on this one, just medicine. Hi, and that's it. And this one, medicine, none of these, hi. But on this one, food, just meals, and then go with copy, and then paste onto this one. And that will require now a little bit of more their time to actually get that right. But yeah, I should have jumped on that early and not let them do them that way. I'll add two more because I think I'll need them to actually get the packaged meals on those shelves as well. Yeah, they'll get that back up there. Raw meat should last longer here than up there. It definitely will because the temperature here is just 4 degrees compared to the kitchen where it's usually 25 or so. These should be done quickly, it seems. Let's jump on this. I'm going to copy this. Go paste it here and go copy not that, but this and then paste it over here when did you manage to move that already oh my god okay so that fixes it up Ju they just need to get the barley off of here and barley needs to go up here where there is plenty of room for it the bookshelves these two yeah these haven't been taken care of because they are not high priority again we just need to set these up at this high priority and then the stockpile on the floor will be ignored and these will be filled Somebody will probably do this really quickly. There we go. Yeah, so priorities are really powerful. And as you can see, they work rather well, but you just need to remember to actually click on that. And I just need to get used to this because I played like a hundred hours without that. And it takes a while for me to now relearn that skill, basically. Somebody should have prioritized production on this. 
Do you have cooking? I think you have cooking. Yeah, go carry that up there and then go prepare this production. I need to use up those red currants before they rot because they've been stranded on the stockpile for a very long time. Although it's good that they are not rotting in the great hall because it's autumn day nine, the temperature outside is minus six, so inside is kinda four degrees and that's why it's not rotting. Also, one of you a long time ago told me in a comment that I should just hover my mouse on inside of a building and then check out its temperature up here. And that's true, but I sometimes have a problem with it because it depends exactly where you are on the layer, although it seems to be working out quite nicely. So it's still seven because it is the kitchen and it's now eight because it's over here and it's now outside because I'm on this layer. Yeah, so you just have to be careful on which layer you are on when using this to read the temperature of the room. But yeah, you can see it's actually rather more comfortable than having to click on something and then click on the name of the room to read the temperature. So once again, another good tip for my subscribers. I would love to be always able to use all of your tips. Sometimes I remember them, sometimes I don't. But as I said, I love that you post so many good tips and suggestions and I always use them. And all the other people who read the comment section also see them and use them. So it's really good that you post that advice. And of course, since I am playing, I kind of sometimes forget something. It's not as when you are watching one of my guides where I'm like thinking about that three days in advance, creating that guide, creating the gameplay for it, writing the script for it, and then everything looks like I am the person who made this game instead of just person who plays it. That is why it might look like, hey, aren't you the person who made a guide, but you're not using your own advice? Well, I would, but I sometimes simply forget it while I'm busy doing something else. And that is why I have you to remind me of any mistakes I make. Oh, finally, somebody is baking these. These usually almost never happen, but I'm happy to see them being done. So that's probably because it said idle and they figured out, oh, wait, I'm not idle. Peter always wants me to be producing clay bricks. I'll go do that now. So, okay, with these two deer, yeah. So definitely around 30 plus leather per deer. So three deer is enough to make one winter clothing. And considering it's autumn day 10 and winter is quickly approaching, that is the perfect time for that to happen. Do I have room enough on this bookshelf for these? I do, and I should add some more. So I have three, some more wall bookshelves place to here and down there i think almost shelves are kind of full by now so let's see packaged meals cooking meals some herbs some medical supplies yeah i could add like one or two more why oh idle that's it's really loud this reminder that somebody is idle somebody's starving please you're not starving you just didn't go and eat on time anyway let's leave this as a cliffhanger and see what that person was up to in the next episode. Oh, this is such a beautiful shot. Let me just go up. Oh, nice. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more episodes.